Hi, this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness. Josh Benoit tagged me with a six guns that you're glad that you've bought. And I'm going to change that to six guns that you're glad that you own because one of these guns was a gift. Now, I tend to be a keep it simple, you know, stay basic. So everything I have is fairly basic and economical. But what I look at, I picked out the most utilitarian firearms I have and the ones that I would most likely use for self-defense. Although all the firearms I own and collect, ultimately they have to have a purpose or I'm not going to buy them. Alright, let's look at number six. You can't get any more basic than a Ruger 1022. But you know the good thing about the 1022, this makes a good bug out gun. It's light. In fact, I had a guy that, uh, you know, he was in the flooding in Texas a couple of years back, and this is what he carried out, and uh, it just came in really handy. Now, this is good for pests, you know, different types of animals, and uh, in a bug out situation, you may have to deal with animals, you know, both wild and uh, supposedly domesticated animals. Uh, also, you can use it as a self-defense uh, tool. Now, I've done a couple of videos where I talked about that, and, and I'm not saying this is the best, but in a pinch, this could be used. And you would not believe the kind of flack I got. You know, everybody seems to think I'm recommending a 22, little bitty 22 pistol as opposed to a, a rifle. But you know, that's okay. So number six is the Ruger 1022. Now number five. Once again, very simple, very basic. Maverick 88, very inexpensive too. Just a basic shotgun. You know, it's, I got it for home self-defense and this is for defense should I, and in the very, very remote possibility that uh, I should have to defend from outside the home. In fact, uh, I use slugs, I load it with slugs. Now, one thing I wanna say, when you're talking about the very basic and, and what, they, what would be considered budget firearms, you need to always remember, it's not the firearm, but your ability to use that firearm that counts. All right, we're still with long rifles. Let's go to number four. Smith & Wesson MMP Sport 2. Now this is just a basic AR. Haven't done a lot of modifications. Put a rubber grip on it. I also put a heavier buffer tube in it. And on down the road, I may do a few more modifications, but this is just a basic AR. Um, some people would say this is a beginner's AR. I don't know. It's got a lot of features I like. It's not the only AR I own, but it is my favorite. And uh, I didn't have to pay a lot for this. In fact, right now they go for around, uh, depending on where, but you know, between uh, five and six hundred dollars. And the reason I got this was for extremely traumatic times. That remote possibility that things in our society may totally collapse. You know, originally when I bought it, it was during that time period we had a certain political group that was encouraging the assassination of police officers. And I, I felt like it was time for me to learn how to use one of these. So, number four, Smith & Wesson Sport 2. Number three is going to surprise a lot of people who know that I, I like and mostly carry revolvers. And, and this was a gift uh, from Ken S. Thank you, Ken. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. But this is a Glock 19, and I've always shot Glocks well. I've always liked Glocks. Just when I got back into firearms a few years back, 
you know, I, you know, there were too many older Smith & Wesson revolvers that are about the same price range. And, uh, you know, so, but I am very glad to have this. Uh, this would be my, once again, for that worst case scenario, this would be the firearm that I would be carrying. Now, number two should be no surprise. It's a Taurus 605. This is a gun that I carry the most often. I mean, it's been dependable. I shoot it a lot. I practice with it. I'm accurate with it. And for a self-defense gun, and let me emphasize, self-defense, citizen self-defense, this fits the bill. Now, the number one gun is one that if I could only have one gun, this would be it. And that's a Smith & Wesson Model 10. You know, this was the first uh, Smith & Wesson handgun I ever bought back in 1982. Not this one, but one just like it. It had a round butt. It also had the banana style competition grips on it, but it had the bull barrel. And this configuration of firearm has been my favorite ever since. Well, since I got tagged, I'm gonna tag three people. I'm gonna tag Mark from Garage Guy 879, Timmy from Timmy BWM, BMN. I'll have the link down below. And uh, also the prepared Norseman, Frederick, over there in Europe. Now, Frederick does own firearms. I don't know how many he owns. So I'm going to make this a little bit different from Frederick. What are the six firearms, if you could own any, that you would own? So this is Greg with Lion Quest Fitness reminding you to always be prepared for unexpected circumstances.